Well, here we are again, looking at a keyboard, but this time it's different because this keyboard I bought with my own money. And even though I've tested quite a few gaming mechanical keyboards, it seems that I'm still just not convinced. That's why I upgraded from a Logitech K780 membrane keyboard to this Logitech MX Keys membrane keyboard. I'm just going to be honest with you. I like laptop style keyboards. The fact that they are membrane it actually doesn't really bother me. I like something that isn't bulky and that is low profile. And I know you're going to tell me, but you should try the Cooler Master SK650 because it, I, I did. I did try it and it was absolutely horrible. I seriously dislike that keyboard. Anyway, comparing the Logitech MX keys to the K780, I do miss the tablet slash phone cradle thing that was built into the back of the K780. I actually quite miss it a lot. But the fuller length that the MX Keys offers is just leaps and bounds better. It did take me some getting used to, but it is pretty easy to switch from the K780 to the MX Keys. The fact that you do win back the insert home delete and page down and up keys, that is great. And then you also have the keys that are backlit. It's another bonus. But other than that, the keyboards are pretty much the same. The Logitech MX Keys also has the ability to connect to three different devices, just like the K780, either with the included unifying receiver or with Bluetooth. Switching between different devices is done by three keys, and now they're not on the left-hand side of the keyboard. They are at the top of the keyboard, right above the arrow keys, which might be a schlep if you want to quickly switch between devices with your left hand now you're gonna have to do with your right hand much like other things in life but i guess this does take away some accidental device switching like you would have gotten on the k780 if we take a top down approach kinky starting with the f row keys you have the brightness up and down which seems to be broken in windows 11 never tested it in windows 10 then you have the task view which just gives you a peek at all the windows that are currently open a dedicated button to open the action center in windows and then the backlight brightness up and down obviously also your media controls at the far right above your numpad you get the calculator button the screen capture button and what they call an app menu button but in windows this just acts like a right click lastly there is a button to quickly lock your computer if you are watching something inappropriately and you need to get up to go to the bathroom real quickly you can just lock your pc with one button no using the f key like on the k780 just below the f row you have the tilde key and then there's the one key which also doubles as the excl okay no i'm not going to go through every single key from here on out it's basically the keyboard as you know it but while we are talking about the keys, the left shift is on the short side and I would have enjoyed a longer one, as depicted in the Logitech Options app. But that picture also shows a smaller return key. And now that I think about it, I would rather prefer a larger enter key and I'll deal with the smaller left shift key. Also, while I'm still bitching about keys, apparently the FN key on this is way too big. Why? Just, I don't know. Make my shift bigger and put that thing there. It, it, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not going to tell Logitech what to do with their lives. And while I have mentioned the Logitech Options app, it is bare bones. As can be. When you just open the app, you are met with the F row toggle, which allows you to either have the media keys or the F keys active. Then you also have the option to disable the backlighting completely, saving you some battery, and you also have the ability to reprogram some of the media keys, the top F row keys. And that sums up the app. It doesn't do much. Now to the actual meat and bones. I really enjoy typing on this keyboard. It has a sturdy construction, not as sturdy as some other keyboards. You don't want to take this into your office brawl. However, the edges look quite sharp. They're not really, but you might be able to do some real life fruit ninja with this keyboard. The indents that you find on each key, they feel very pleasant and it makes finding the middle of keys very easy. The backlighting is super convenient and it can be set to only turn on while you're typing and they turn on while you approach it making you feel like a magician i don't know how the proximity sensor works on this but it is good don't don't worry about that it will turn on as soon as you put your hand in front of the keyboard and this is also done as a battery saving feature talking about the battery the life is quite impressive where i've only charged the board about three times in the two months that i've had it for logitech state that it can last you 10 days with a backlight cranked up or it can last you up to five months if you don't want a backlight at all the mx keys does not have removable batteries like the k780 this time around you can charge the keyboard with the included usb-c cable 
Thank you. Thank you, Logitech, for having a USB-C port. Thank you. And that's basically it. Keyboards are keyboards nowadays. Not much to be said. And bringing it to a conclusion, should you buy this keyboard? If I had the choice to replace my Office K780 that I use with another MX Keys, I would. 100% I would. I think it's worthwhile. I don't think, however, that this keyboard is for everyone. I think gamers will prefer their chonky clicky keys, but for productivity, especially if you're using multiple devices, even if you want to switch between Windows and Mac, this might just be for you. The MX keys retail anything from 1,500 to 2,000 Rand here in South Africa, and you can opt for it to include a wrist rest if you like, but I don't think it's necessary because the keyboard is so low profile. Talking about the low profile, you can't raise it at all. No adjustable feet on the MX keys. <sighs> oh yeah, you also get a mini version now that omits the numpad and is a lot more compact if that's your style. Well, that is that and this is this. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want, and that's for you to hit the like or the dislike button. Either way, it helps out the channel tremendously. A sub would also be greatly appreciated. Until next time, yours faithfully. Carbonite.